Welcome to Audio Authority's Series 1500 Intercom Training Course. In Part 1, we'll be learning about Series 1500 hardware, and we'll explain terminology we use for installing intercom systems and troubleshooting. The Model 1500 is the original Series 1500 counterstation, released in 2005. It's been replaced by the Model 1500A, but there are still thousands of the original units in operation. You'll recognize them by their light gray color and the wings on each side which house the microphone and the speaker. The 1500A counterstation is similar to the original 1500, but more compact. The 1500AH has a handset and cradle. You can add two-way video to any counterstation by installing the model 1502L. The basic lane station, model 1520, is designed to be installed in the drive-up unit, where it connects to lane devices mounted in the same cabinet. Lane devices include speakers, microphones, call buttons, traffic sensors, cameras, and video monitors. We'll talk more about lane devices in a moment. Our video customer stations offer an easy way to add two-way video to a drive-up unit. An integrated AV customer station contains a camera, monitor, call button, speaker, and microphone, in addition to all the other features and connections on a 1520, all housed in a steel, weather-resistant enclosure. There are two types of intercom hubs, audio only, also known as a mini hub, and AV system hub. You can order different configurations of AV system hub for different size systems or add capacity in the field. Older AV system hubs have silver faceplates on each card, but they are completely compatible with the current style hubs and cards. The setup tool is an LCD display that allows advanced configuration that is not accessible to the operator, such as line volume adjustments, lane adjustment, and firmware updates. The current version is model 1550A. The previous version is still fully compatible with current series 1500 systems. Cameras can be installed to add either one-way or two-way video. This is an inbound or customer-facing video camera in a tilt assembly. The tilt motor responds to the camera up and down keys on the counter station. You can also connect other third-party cameras to the 1500 system as well. Audio Authority offers one-way or two-way video for counter stations. The 1502L includes an operator-facing camera for two-way video, and the 1501L provides one-way video. Outdoor monitors in 7-inch, 10-inch, and 15-inch sizes are designed for installation in drive-up units and customer stations. Standard third-party monitors with composite video inputs may also be used for indoor or outdoor video. Each counter station has a gooseneck microphone. This mic can be replaced easily in the field. Audio Authority offers a standard lane mic, but most third-party electric-type microphones are compatible. Standard 3-inch speakers are built into each counter station and also in some Audio Authority integrated customer stations. You can use almost any speaker that is rated for 4 ohms or more in drive-up units. Pressing a call button triggers a chime that alerts the counter station operator that a customer requires assistance. Call buttons are built into some Audio Authority customer stations, but most are specified and installed by the manufacturer of the drive-up unit. A traffic sensor is like an automatic call button. As a vehicle approaches a drive-up unit, the sensor alerts the operator. Audio Authority offers the model 1547B infrared sensor shown here, but third-party sensors may also be used. The 1547B connects to a special port on the side of the 1520, whereas a third-party sensor connects to the terminal block. Handsets offer more discrete communication when privacy is a concern. These may be installed at the lane, on the counter station, or both. Headsets can also provide discrete communication at the counter station. The wireless headset base station connects to a port on the back of the counter station. 
Currently, the only headsets approved for use with the Series 1500 are the Audio Authority Model 1542V, the Jabra Pro 920, and the Plantronics models CS50 and CS55. The headsets available through Audio Authority include the special adapter that is required for connection to Series 1500 counter stations. Most Audio Authority intercom equipment connects via CAT5, also known as Category 5E or CAT6, unshielded, twisted pair cables. Standard computer network cables can be used for short runs, but long runs must be terminated with RJ45 jacks using the EIA 568B color code standard. We'll cover CAT5 termination in a future lesson. An RJ45 coupler is a useful item to have in your toolbox. It connects two CAT5 cables together. It's quite useful for troubleshooting when you need to bypass the hub in order to isolate known good components on the endpoints. Almost all Audio Authority intercom equipment uses a 12 volt, 1 amp switching power supply. It provides plenty of noise-free DC power for each component in the system, except for outdoor customer stations. These units require the 12 volt, 5 amp power supply which comes with a three-prong appliance power cord. All current model hubs come with a standard SD card. However, older equipment in the field may not be compatible with SD cards. The older generation intercom hubs used data flash cards. These cards are almost identical to current SD cards in size and shape. However, they are electrically very different. Data flash cards cannot be used in SD card slots, nor can SD cards be used in hubs designed for data flash. The main advantage of SD cards is that technicians can download firmware directly from AudioAuthority.com and load it on an SD card for firmware updates. This is not possible with the older data flash cards. If you need to update firmware on an older hub, you have to send the data flash card to Audio Authority for programming. A better alternative is to replace the old hub with an SD compatible hub, or replace the 1517 system card with a new 1517A system card. That's it for lesson one in the Series 1500 intercom training course. Next topic will be all about counter stations. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call 800-32-AUDIO or visit audioauthority.com.